as a matter of fact, let's talk about Mazzarell. The evidence that shows Stephen Avery is the killer of Teresa Halbach. Let's see that list, Liz. Why we are convinced the right man is behind bars. This man, Stephen Avery, that he lured Teresa Halbach to his place. First, his past incident with the cat. What was that, Matt Zarell? Yeah, he lit the cats on fire and threw him in a bonfire. Uh, and people say, why would he do this to Teresa? He targeted Teresa. He called, disguising his identity with Star 67, saying he was somebody else, to send the same girl as last time and used a different name. If that was not nefarious, why lie about his ID? Teresa's phone, camera, PDA, found 20 feet from Avery's door, burned in a barrel. He told inmates he intended to build a torture chamber to rape, torture, and kill women as soon as he got out of jail. The victim, 25-year-old Teresa Hallback's bones in a fire pit, intertwined, this is important, intertwined with steel belts from car tires used by Avery as accelerant. Now, listen, in order to do this, in order to plant evidence, police would have to murder Teresa Hallback, burn her body, get the bones, and then intertwine them with steel belt tires. That's quite a cover-up, right? That spans two counties and nobody's ever cracked and talked about it. Let's see the rest of the list, Liz. Teresa's tooth and rivet from her jeans. She was wearing some Daisy Fuentes jeans the day she went missing. The rivets from those jeans, the decorations, along with her tooth, found in the fire pit. Phone records showing three calls from Avery to Teresa's phone, masking his identity. There were six calls in all, luring her back. Avery's DNA on the victim's hood latch. Under her hood, the DNA was sweat. Nine, ballistics said bullets found in the garage with Teresa's DNA was fired by Avery's rifle. 